Good morning, this is Ask Marie. Last night I watched a TV program uh, about getting married to a stranger. Normally they have, uh, this is a new season, normally they have five, four couples, but this time they have four couples. Uh, I have some, these, these couples are now engaged. Engaged to be married in two weeks, no less. And these um, couples have been screened by PhD, psychologists, uh, relationship experts, and counselors. But I wonder if the screening tells it all, or is it still kind of risky? Now, the five couples are Katie. She's 25, and she's scheduled to get married in two weeks to Derek. He's 25. Katie's a diabetic. She's also a child's therapist, and she needs family support because she's very serious about marriage. She had a boyfriend uh, who told her he was not ready for a committed relationship. Now that she's engaged, he's, he wants to, to he wants her back. So for what? You know, I ask. Derek is a cyber security. He works in cyber security, says he's really never been in love before. But he's been out with many women, but uh, he hasn't found what he's looking for. His parents are divorced. They've been divorced for 15 years. And when he meets with them to talk to them about the fact that he's getting married in 10 days, Dad supports his uh, marriage with reservation. Mom just wants him to be happy. Then you have Jessica. She's from Ohio. She has a twin sister, and they're very, very close. She's considered the keeper. They call her the keeper. Her parents, family, family owns a, a Christmas tree farm. So she's always been pretty much crazy about Christmas. She treats expert matching. Uh, she, she trusted. She trusts expert matching in that she's been out with so many men and nothing seemed to be working for her. Now her brother-in-law says... Um, I don't know why he says that. He says it's just ridiculous to get married on those terms. But you got to remember, these experts have screened these people that they're about to match and compare with. And I'm asking myself the question, do they give that profile to those uh, couples once they're married so they can read it over themselves and find out what that other person's hobbies are, what their likes and dislikes are after marriage? And Jessica is marrying Austin. He's 31 years old, just like her. He's a mama's boy. He's a mama's boy. He's a, a network engineer by profession, by profession. He's also a romantic. He considers himself a romantic, a, a romantic. He wants a family of his own because he enjoys playing with his niece. And mom considers, mom is cautious, but she, she's accepting. So now then the third couple is Mecca and Michael. Mecca is, considers herself the second mom to siblings because no dad was around and her mom worked two jobs. She's very ambitious. She wants to someday be the boss or the owner of the company that she works for. Mom is rece receptive. There's no father image in her life. Same goes for Michael. He's a teacher of special needs, and he was raised by his, his sister, his older sister, because his mom died when I think he was three years old. He, too, has no uh, father image in his life. Then there's Mindy. She's 34, and she's going to be marrying Zach, who's 32. Mindy teaches uh, skating, uh, and she loves art, but, and her sister died recently, so she's had some losses in her life. She's very optimistic and does have her sister support, but she does not have her parents' support. They have already told her they're not going to be at the wedding. Now, she's not comfortable with that because Zach is going to be introducing her to his parents, and who will she introduce his parents to if her parents don't go? Uh, he has, uh, Zach has no connection with other women, but wants marriage, uh, and he's confident in the matchmaking system. Then there's Taylor. She's 27. She's a scientist. She's a research scientist at John Hopkins Hospital. Now, this is an educated woman. 
she likes to travel, and uh, wants to be a doctor one day, Dr. Ty. <laughs> She's marrying Brandon. Brandon is a wine sales representative. Mom is a minister, but he doesn't go to he doesn't go to church. Um, has had not seen his father since he was thirteen, so he has some issues about that, and says when he does have children, he'll be at every game that they at sporting event that they has have. His grandma is very optimistic to this um, leap of faith, but uh, they do do these psychological tests. They do these um, background checks and. And, they, and then they have an expert of counseling. Now, I have questions about who pays for the wedding and the honeymoon. Or is this why these couples have come to this here program? To get a free expense paid uh, wedding and the honeymoon, as among other things. And does the screening tell it all? Or is it still risky? Uh, what do you think? Is it telling it all? Or is it still risky because they're getting married to strangers when they get married they are actually strangers they don't know how tall short ugly or thin these people are all right then that with the screening they already know and, and they have the answers that would have been answered while they were courting and this is why i asked do they get the profile of the spot their spouse after the wedding they're engaged right now with the pressures that come against them in this two-week period that they have to wait, will they go through with it? Let me know what you think. Will they show up for the wedding in two weeks? If they don't, this will probably be a first, that the bride shows up and the groom doesn't, or that the groom shows up and the bride doesn't, because family pressure is some kind of terrible. Let me know what you think. And how you feel about the matchmaking of this couple. Have a blessed day.